In today's interconnected world, we conduct a vast amount of our personal and professional lives online. We share information, manage our finances, and communicate constantly through our digital devices. This reliance on technology, however, brings with it certain risks. Malicious actors are always seeking new ways to exploit vulnerabilities and steal sensitive data. One particularly insidious tool in their arsenal is the keylogger. These programs or devices operate silently, often without the user's knowledge, capturing every single keystroke made on an infected computer or mobile device. This makes them a significant threat to our online security and privacy, capable of harvesting a wealth of confidential information before we even realize something is amiss. The danger posed by keyloggers cannot be overstated. Imagine every password you type, every private message you send, every bank account number you enter, being meticulously recorded and sent to a criminal. This is precisely what keyloggers are designed to achieve. They are a form of spyware, a malicious software or hardware component that secretly monitors and logs all keyboard inputs. The information gathered can range from login credentials for online banking and social media accounts, to confidential business communications and personal conversations. Understanding the nature of this threat is the first crucial step towards effectively protecting ourselves from its potentially devastating consequences in our increasingly digital lives. Many people remain unaware of how pervasive and damaging keyloggers can be. They might believe their standard antivirus software offers complete protection, or that such threats only target large corporations. However, keyloggers can affect anyone, from individual home users to employees within large organizations. The simplicity with which some keyloggers can be deployed, coupled with the valuable data they can extract, makes them an attractive option for cybercriminals of all levels of sophistication. It is therefore essential for everyone to develop a basic understanding of what keyloggers are, how they function, and the methods used to distribute them, so we can better safeguard our digital interactions. The primary goal of this essay is to demystify keyloggers. We will explore their different forms, examine the techniques they use to capture your keystrokes, and discuss how hackers deploy them. Furthermore, we will look at real-world examples to illustrate their impact and highlight the signs that might indicate an infection. Most importantly, we will provide clear, actionable advice on how you can protect your computers and mobile devices from this stealthy form of cyber attack. Knowledge is power, and by understanding the threat, we can take proactive measures to ensure our online activities remain secure and our private information stays private fostering a safer digital environment for all users. At its core, a keylogger, short for keystroke logger, is a surveillance tool designed to record the keys struck on a keyboard. This recording is typically done covertly, so the person using the keyboard is unaware that their actions are being monitored. The recorded data, often called a keystroke log, can then be retrieved by the individual or entity operating the keylogger. This seemingly simple function has profound implications for privacy and security, as it can capture an astonishing amount of sensitive information. Keyloggers are not inherently illegal, they can have legitimate uses, such as employers monitoring employee activity on company-owned devices, or parents keeping an eye on their children's online behavior. However, their use without consent for malicious purposes is a serious cybercrime. Keyloggers primarily exist in two distinct forms software keyloggers and hardware keyloggers. Software keyloggers are computer programs that need to be installed on the target device's operating system. Once installed, they run silently in the background, intercepting keystrokes as they are processed by the system. These programs can be quite sophisticated, capable of capturing not only keyboard inputs but also screenshots, clipboard data, and even microphone and webcam feeds. Because they are software-based, they can often be distributed remotely via the internet, making them a common choice for cybercriminals targeting a large number of victims. Their stealth often relies on evading detection by standard security software. Hardware keyloggers, on the other hand, are physical devices. These are typically small connectors that are discreetly plugged in between the keyboard and the computer's USB or PS2 port. Some hardware keyloggers can even be embedded directly within the keyboard itself, making them exceptionally difficult to detect without a physical inspection. These devices store the logged keystrokes in their own internal memory, which the attacker must then physically retrieve. 
while requiring physical access to the target machine for installation and data retrieval, hardware keyloggers have the advantage of being independent of the operating system and are often undetectable by antivirus software as they leave no software trace on the computer itself. The choice between a software or hardware keylogger often depends on the attacker's objectives and access to the target. Software keyloggers are more versatile for widespread, remote attacks, while hardware keyloggers might be favored for targeted attacks where physical access is possible, such as in corporate espionage or when targeting a specific individual's personal computer. Both types, however, serve the same fundamental purpose, to surreptitiously capture every character typed by the user. Understanding these distinctions is vital for appreciating the different ways these threats can manifest and for developing comprehensive strategies to counter them effectively. The operational mechanics of keyloggers, while varying slightly between software and hardware types, revolve around the interception of data pathways. Software keyloggers typically work by hooking into the computer's operating system at a low level. They can monitor application programming interfaces or APIs related to keyboard input, essentially listening in on the conversation between the keyboard driver and the applications you use. Every time a key is pressed, the signal is intercepted by the keylogger program before or as it reaches the intended application, such as your web browser or word processor. This allows the keylogger to create a detailed log file containing every character, number, and symbol typed, often timestamped for context. Once the keystrokes are captured, the keylogger needs a method to store this information and transmit it to the attacker. Software keyloggers usually save the logged data to a hidden file on the infected computer's hard drive. This file is often encrypted or disguised to avoid detection by the user or security software. The method of exfiltration, sending the data to the hacker, can vary. Some keyloggers are programmed to periodically email the log files to a predefined address. Others might upload the data to a remote server via FTP or file transfer protocol or HTTP or even use instant messaging services. More sophisticated versions might wait for specific triggers, like the user visiting a banking website, before activating data transmission. The information stolen by keyloggers is incredibly valuable to cybercriminals. Login credentials, including usernames and passwords for email email accounts, social media platforms, online banking portals and corporate networks, are prime targets. With these credentials, attackers can gain unauthorized access to accounts leading to identity theft, financial fraud, and data breaches. Beyond credentials, keyloggers capture everything else typed, search queries, private messages, credit card numbers entered into online forms, confidential business documents, and personal notes. This comprehensive data collection provides attackers with a rich profile of the victim, which can be exploited in numerous malicious ways or sold on dark web marketplaces. The true danger lies in the silent and persistent nature of keyloggers. They are designed to operate without raising any suspicion. Users continue their daily digital activities, completely unaware that their every keystroke is being recorded and potentially transmitted to malicious actors. This clandestine operation means that a keylogger can remain active on a system for weeks, months, or even longer, continuously harvesting sensitive information. The accumulated data can then be used to orchestrate more complex attacks, compromise further systems, or cause significant personal and financial damage to the unsuspecting victim, making their detection and removal a critical security priority. Cybercriminals employ a variety of deceptive tactics to install keyloggers onto victims' devices, often exploiting human psychology or technical vulnerabilities. One of the most prevalent methods is through phishing emails. These emails are designed to look like legitimate communications from trusted sources, such as banks, government agencies, or well-known companies. They typically contain a sense of urgency or a compelling offer to trick the recipient into clicking on a malicious link or downloading an infected attachment. If the user clicks the link, they might be directed to a compromised website that silently installs the keylogger, or the attachment itself might be an executable file disguised as a document, which installs the malware when opened. Malicious downloads from untrustworthy sources are another significant pathway for keylogger infections. This includes downloading software, games, or media files from unofficial websites, peer-to-peer -peer file sharing networks, or torrent sites. 
These files are often bundled with malware, including keyloggers, which get installed alongside the desired content without the user's explicit consent or knowledge. Sometimes, even legitimate-seeming software advertised through pop-ups or third-party app stores can be compromised. Users seeking free versions of paid software are particularly at risk, as these are common bait for distributing various forms of malware hidden within the downloaded package. Exploiting software vulnerabilities is a more technical approach, but highly effective. Hackers actively search for security flaws in operating systems, web browsers, and other commonly used applications. If a vulnerability is found and a user has not updated their software with the latest security patches, attackers can use an exploit kit to silently install malware, including keyloggers, simply by luring the victim to a compromised website. This is often referred to as a drive-by download, where the infection occurs without any direct action from the user other than visiting the malicious page. Keeping software updated is therefore a critical defense against such attacks. Finally, physical installation remains a viable method, especially for hardware keyloggers or for installing software keyloggers on systems where the attacker has direct access. This might occur in situations of corporate espionage where a disgruntled employee or an external agent gains physical access to a computer. It can also happen if a device is left unattended in a public place or if someone gains unauthorized access to a home computer. While less common for widespread attacks, Physical installation is highly effective for targeted espionage. Public computers, such as those in libraries or internet cafes, can also be pre-infected with keyloggers, posing a risk to anyone who uses them to enter sensitive information. The destructive potential of keyloggers is not merely theoretical. Numerous real-world incidents highlight their devastating impact. One notable example involved the widespread Zeus banking trojan, which often incorporated sophisticated keylogging capabilities. Zeus targeted online banking credentials. Once infected, the keylogger would silently record usernames and passwords when victims visited their banking websites. This information was then transmitted to criminal gangs, who used it to drain accounts, make fraudulent transfers, and commit identity theft on a massive scale, affecting millions of individuals and businesses globally and causing billions in losses. This case underscores how effectively keyloggers can be integrated into larger criminal enterprises to facilitate significant financial fraud. While keyloggers are designed for stealth, there can sometimes be subtle signs indicating that a computer might be infected. One common symptom is a noticeable degradation in system performance. Your computer might become unusually slow, applications might freeze or crash more frequently, or your internet connection might seem sluggish. This can occur because the key logging software is consuming system resources as it runs in the background, recording data and possibly transmitting it. While performance issues can have many causes, a sudden and unexplained slowdown warrants further investigation for potential malware, including key loggers. Unusual network activity can also be a red flag. If you notice your computer is sending or receiving large amounts of data when you are not actively using an internet-intensive application, it could be the keylogger transmitting its logs to the attacker. Some advanced users might observe unfamiliar processes running in their task manager or unexplained outbound connections in their firewall logs. Furthermore, if your antivirus software suddenly becomes disabled without your intervention, or if you find that you cannot access security-related websites, it could be a sign that malware, possibly a keylogger, is actively trying to prevent its detection and removal from your system. Other potential indicators include unexpected pop-up messages, even when not browsing the web, or your web browser behaving erratically, such as redirecting to unknown websites. If friends or contacts report receiving strange emails or messages from your accounts that you did not send, it could mean your credentials have been compromised, possibly via a keylogger. While these signs are not definitive proof of a keylogger infection on their own, as they can also be symptoms of other malware or system issues, their presence, especially in combination, should prompt immediate action to scan your system thoroughly with reputable security tools. Protecting yourself from keyloggers requires a multi-layered approach to security, focusing on both preventative measures and good online habits. Firstly, it is absolutely essential to install and maintain reputable antivirus and anti-malware software on all your devices. Ensure that this software is kept up to date with the latest virus definitions, 
and that real-time scanning features are enabled. Many modern security suites include specific protections against spyware and keyloggers, regularly run full system scans to detect and remove any threats that may have slipped through. Consider using a firewall to monitor and control network traffic, which can help block unauthorized outbound communications from potential keyloggers. Secondly, exercise extreme caution with emails and downloads. Be wary of unsolicited emails, especially those containing attachments or links, even if they appear to be from known contacts or organizations. Verify the sender's legitimacy before clicking on anything suspicious. Avoid downloading software or files from untrusted websites, peer-to-peer -peer networks or pop-up advertisements. Always download software from official vendor websites or reputable app stores. Keeping your operating system, web browser and all other software updated with the latest security patches is crucial, as this closes known vulnerabilities that keyloggers and other malware might exploit for installation. For an added layer of security, especially when entering sensitive information like passwords or financial details, consider using a virtual keyboard if your operating system or security software offers one. Virtual keyboards are on-screen keyboards that you click with a mouse which can sometimes bypass traditional software keyloggers that primarily target physical keyboard inputs. Furthermore, enabling two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication wherever possible provides a critical backup. Even if a keylogger captures your password, two-factor authentication requires a second form of verification, such as a code sent to your phone, making it much harder for attackers to access your accounts. Finally, be mindful of physical security, particularly when using public or shared computers. Avoid entering sensitive information on such machines if possible. For your own devices, especially laptops, be aware of who has physical access to them. While the threat of keyloggers is real, by adopting these practical security measures and cultivating a vigilant approach to online interactions, you can significantly reduce your risk. Staying informed about current threats and consistently applying good security hygiene empowers you to navigate the digital world with greater confidence and safety, ensuring your personal information remains protected.